Yasuhiko Okudera paved the way. And now Shinji Okazaki is following in his footsteps. Bundesliga goal getters past and present from the land of the rising sun. I came to Europe with big plans. And now I've set a new record. One that up till now was held by a folk hero of ours. It's a great achievement and I suppose it means I've already managed to make my own mark on the game here. A journey back in time, at home with Yasuhiko Okudera, more than 35 years ago when he was playing for Köln. A trailblazer for Japanese players in the European game, Okudera overcame a sizable cultural barrier to carve out a career in the Bundesliga in the late 1970s. Communication and integration are certainly both important. But what matters most is your performance out on the pitch. Okudera scored 26 Bundesliga goals for Köln, Hertha and Bremen. At Köln in 1978, he won the League and Cup double. Shinji Okazaki doesn't yet have any silverware in Germany, but he does have 31 goals to his name, a top-flight record for a Japanese player. I think the new record will help the overall development of Japanese football. It's something to build on. It might be up to 40 goals before too long, but that could be broken in turn at some point down the line. Tokyo 1978. Okudera in the role of local guide for Köln legend Tony Schumacher. An early promotional tour on behalf of the Bundesliga. More pioneering work. Now, the football connection between Germany and Japan is stronger than ever, with Okazaki leading the way. You reach the point where it's not enough for Japanese players just to make it into the Bundesliga. The ambition keeps growing. You want to be more successful. I'm glad I can contribute to that process. The Japanese are renowned for their disciplined, reserved nature and ability to adapt. But being the perfect team player is not always the optimal way forward. It can be a real obstacle because there are also times when you want to showcase your own talents. That often means being a bit egotistical, which can surprise the other players because all of a sudden we might not seem so ready to adapt after all. But that's precisely the hurdle a Japanese player has to overcome if he wants to take the next step up. Double winner with Köln and three-time runner-up at Bremen. But one title Okudera never claimed was Bundesliga top scorer. These days, the Bundesliga is a permanent force to be reckoned with in the Champions League. I haven't experienced that competition myself yet, but if I was able to finish up as top scorer in a league as strong as the Bundesliga, that would give me even more self-confidence. And it would be a great honour as well. Shinji Okazaki, increasingly at home in Germany. His predecessor Yasuhiko Okudera had the essentials off-pat as well.